Well, it is, and and we we're not we're never going to say okay we need to go back to the father knows best era and to you know 3.2 children and a mother and a father both living in the home and all that sort of thing. It's not realistic to think that will happen, and it doesn't need to happen for kids to grow up where they know that they have adults who love them and are concerned with them. And it's they, the, um, they don't all have to live in the same home at the right. same time, but to have those people in a children's life is important. But it also means that if if we're saying the definition of families changed then the importance of having a vibrant, close-knit community around is, is even more so. And the idea of the extended family or the extended community that can yeah. help in situations <coughs> where I, there I, is a single parent. I think the real thing is that we have to understand that children need unconditional love. Now, families are going to take different shapes and whatever. And families are going to chop and change. But where unconditional love is, is up for buying or up for throwing away, then that's where children come into the acute difficulty. But where in the world we're living in there are problematic issues, if there isn't a strong community outside to hold the relationships together, then, we're, then we really are in difficulties. You can have a family that isn't particularly functional, but a community around that is functional, and that holds it together, which is probably going back into what our prehistoric past was all about. I mean, the, this deep evidence suggests we're not naturally monogamous. So the society we came from was full of people who had cross references and they looked after each other, small groups which are interdependent.